class, hello, and welcome to this counselling skill session on the basics of CBT. I will be your tutor, Big Owl. Today, we're going to look at what is counselling, what is CBT, applications of CBT. We will first look at what counselling is. The everyday pressures of life are becoming even greater, meaning that many people are turning to counselling for support. The British Association for Counselling and Psychotherapy, BACP, define counselling as taking place when a counsellor sees a client in a private and confidential setting to explore a difficulty the client is having, distress they may be experiencing, or perhaps dissatisfaction with life, or loss of a sense of direction and purpose. It is always at the request of the client, as no one can properly be sent for counselling. This is an important point to note, as clients who feel reluctant to attend counselling are unlikely to get the best out of their sessions. The process of counselling can be clearly defined as the means by which one person helps another to clarify his or her life situation and to decide further lines of action. Can anyone be a counsellor? Yes, counsellors come from all walks of life. You just need to have a genuine interest in helping others. There is currently no legal requirement in the UK to have any specific training or experience in order to practice as or call yourself a counsellor. But imagine if you were looking for a counsellor. You would want to know that the person you see has had relevant training and experience and that they are registered with a professional body. That's why it is important to undertake relevant training and apply for membership with a professional body like the National Counselling Society. This will help potential clients have more faith in your abilities and also offers protection for both you as a practitioner, for example against false accusations, and for the client. Is CBT a type of counselling? CBT is a type of talking therapy. It's a combination of cognitive therapy, which helps with your thinking processes, and behavioural therapy, which focuses on your behaviour in response to those thoughts. Common CBT techniques include challenging negative beliefs and replacing them with alternative ones, problem solving, developing coping skills. CBT is a short-term treatment that usually lasts between six weeks and six months. It consists of individual treatment sessions, which you will usually attend every week or two. The number of sessions you have will depend on your condition and commitment to the treatment. Each session usually lasts for about 30 minutes to an hour. CBT is most often used to treat anxiety disorders or depression. However, it can also be used to treat panic disorder, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, body dysmorphic disorder, phobias, post-traumatic stress disorder, eating disorders, anger issues, sleep problems, persistent pain, sexual or relationship issues, schizophrenia, Bipolar Affective Disorder What happens in CBT? To start with, your CBT practitioner will ask about your background and how you are currently feeling. He or she will work with you to identify problem areas that you would like to focus on. You will learn to make sense of your problems by breaking them down into smaller areas. This will allow you to see how they are connected and how they affect you. Your CBT practitioner will use structured techniques to try to identify how you are thinking and how this can cause problematic feelings and behaviours. You will learn to challenge negative ways of thinking and learn how to react more positively. This can lead to behavioural changes that may make you feel better. Your therapist may suggest that you keep a diary so that you can identify how you react to certain events or thoughts. This will help you to identify patterns of thoughts, emotions, physical feelings and actions and see if they are unrealistic or unhelpful. Your CBT practitioner will usually set you homework assignments. This may include reading material, tasks where you can test and practice the techniques you learn or gradually exposing yourself to situations you're afraid of. Your CBT practitioner may ask you to practice replacing negative thoughts with positive ones during everyday events. This isn't always easy, but by using CBT techniques, you can try out different behavioural approaches in real situations, which can help you to make changes. You won't be asked to do anything that you don't feel comfortable with. CBT aims to provide you with the insight and skills to improve your quality of life. Once you finish your therapy, you will need to continue practicing what you have learnt on your own. How is CBT done alone? 
CBT can be done using a computer program or with self-help books. Some professionals have started to develop smartphone applications too. Is CBT only for adults? No, CBT can also be used to treat children and adolescents. It can be particularly helpful for children and adolescents who have anxiety disorders or obsessive compulsive disorder, that's OCD. To summarize what we have learned today, CBT is a talking treatment. It is relatively short term. CBT techniques can be learned and practiced alone. CBT is suitable for people of all ages. Goodbye class and good luck.